All right, so I'm going to talk about one last tool this week um, for this module, and that is the pen tool. A lot of students who um, haven't done graphic design, haven't worked in Illustrator, the first time you use the pen tool, uh, they tend to hate it. Um, there's a reason why, and one of the reasons why is that it's very different than everything else you do in Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop is primarily uh, meant for raster graphics, meaning it works with pixels, okay? So usually you paint, um, you know, your brush tools, your um, paint bucket, other things like that, okay? The pen tool is a vector tool, meaning that it lays it out according to a mathematical formula. So it's infinitely scalable. Uh, it's not as good at doing transitions like smooth photorealistic effects, okay? So let me just show you a little bit about what the pen tool does. I'm going to, uh, you have two files. Uh, the first one, your pen by numbers, I'm going to show you, we'll teach you how to use the pen tool, okay? And then your second one, what I'm going to ask you to do with this file is make me a cutout of this mug using just the pen tool, okay? And I'll get into a little bit of some of the um, mistakes that people make. All right, so the pen tool works by clicking on an area, and it's similar to the polygonal lasso tool, other than if I click and drag, I can make curves. Okay, so you may want to play with it a little bit and see what it does. Now I have an open path right now. If I want to close my path, okay, I just have to click on where I started. Uh, once I've done that, I've made a shape. Okay, I can right click and I can make this a selection. Okay, and if I were to fill this, okay, it makes a shape. So let me step back. Now, Here's the thing with the pen with the pen tool and with the vector paths, okay? You will see them on your palette here. You have layers, channels, and paths, okay? When you have this path here, you can move it with the move tool, okay? But it disappears, all right? That's because the move tool is not meant, yeah, I know, thank you, Photoshop, is not meant to move this around, all right? The move tool is used for raster. So in order to move these around, you need to use your path selection and your direct selection tools. A is the keyboard shortcut. So if you have a black arrow, it's underneath the type tool. Um, I'm personally of the opinion that it really should be underneath the pen tool, but Photoshop, they can call me, I guess, if they want my opinion. Okay, it will move the entire path. However, if I come to my direct selection tool and I select one of my points, you see how it turns blue and the other ones are, are now white? This means I can move each one of these points Oops. individually. And this is really part of the power of using a path is that it is infinitely editable as well, right? And if I save my document, normally I can't save selections. Like when I go to save, if I have something selected, it will not be selected the next time I bring it up. Uh, in this case though, um, if I save this, this work path will still be here next time I, I bring it up, okay? Um, now, you can also edit some of the paths in Underneath the pen tool, you have a convert point tool. When you do that and you click and drag, for example, on just a regular point, I can turn it into one that has a, what they call a Bezier path. Okay? It's spelled like it's spelled B-E-Z-I-E-R, but it's pronounced Bezier. Okay? If I click back on it again, it'll transform it back into uh, just a regular point. Okay? If I have my um, hand, control handles pulled out like this, and I grab just one of these handles, I can now move that independently. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my direct selection tool, and now I can move this independently of that. Now, the pen tool actually has shortcuts in it um, itself. If you hold down Alt with the pen tool, it will give you your, uh, your path modification tool there. So you don't have to come back in, go down and go to your convert point tool, right? You can just hold down Alt, and it'll go ahead and give it to you. Now, if you are making a shape, making a path, like if I pull this out here and I hold down Alt, okay, I can move the handle, do the next one, hold down Alt. Okay. So this is a really good tool for um, making shapes, making selections with smooth edges, right, and making selections that I can then save. Um, a lot of people don't like it because when you first start to use it, it doesn't operate the same way, and frankly, it's pretty annoying to learn. Once you've learned how to use it, though, I think it's a much faster selection tool than um, some of the selection tools in Photoshop. So let me come over to this. Okay. So uh, let me delete that path out. 
this file is here to help you teach you a little bit about how to use it. Okay, so I'm going to P for my pen tool. I'm going to start on one. I'm going to click and pull the handle out to the red dot. Two, click and pull. Three, okay, four, five, six. The one for seven is a little hard to tell. Click and pull, it's right above eight. Eight, I don't have to click and pull. Nine, I'm going to click and pull. Ten, just click. 11, click and pull, 12, just click, 13, click and pull, and then one, okay, just click and it'll complete the path. You notice it, it pretty easily with just a few uh, control points can select this object. Now one issue is right here, right? Um, if I turn this into a selection, it's obviously not going to work well. So I'm going to come to my direct selection tool, okay, that is the white arrow, click on that point, I'm going to grab this handle and pull it in. Now when you pull it in, this is what the handle likes to do, it likes to spin everywhere. Okay, so you'll have to grab the other handle and pull it back into shape. Okay, so if you noticed, once again, I can come in and refine this, but it does a pretty good job of getting me right into the area. Okay, so what I want you to do then with this cup, this coffee mug, is use your pen tool. Okay, make a selection of the outside, make a selection of the inside, right here if the handle is. If you select both paths and then convert them into um, a selection, Photoshop will automatically assume you meant to select this mug and we're trying to get rid of this here, okay? So you should have, be able to separate it out like that. Now let me point out a couple of things. One is, uh, the pen tool works best with fewer points, okay? So do not do this thing that students do and put 55 points on. You will never get a smooth selection. You will hate your life. You'll hate me, that's fine, you can hate me. Um, but you'll hate everything by the end, by the time you're done with that. Okay, so let me just show you really quick how I would do this. So I'm gonna start down here in the corner. Okay, I'm gonna hold down Alt, because I know this is a sharp corner, right? Click and pull, hold down Alt. Same thing right here. Click and pull, hold down Alt. I'm gonna come all the way to this side, click and pull, hold down Alt. I probably want two points up here, because it, it's kinda got a blunt edge. But I want one path there, just a point here. Okay, and I may want an additional point, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect the path there. Now I'm gonna come into my direct selection tool. I'm gonna to grab this handle, pull it out some, then grab this handle, right, pull it out. Okay, and this is really what it takes is sort of finagling it and understanding that they work in pairs. And you kind of have to move it around just a little bit, okay? But I can probably get this handle or very close to this handle, okay, with just two control points. All right, it's a little bit off. Um, I could stand to do it a little bit more. That's yeah, that's pretty close, okay? Same thing at the bottom here. I don't need more than two points. I'm gonna click and pull there, click and pull here. And there's my selection right there, okay? Up here, like I said, I may need more than the two points, but we'll see. Yeah, I think so. I would probably come in right there and there. Let me zoom in, make it easier to see. Um, I'm going to get this top first. Okay, that's pretty good. Same thing here. Okay, I'm going to pull this in, kind of up. Okay, pull that in, pull it in. There we go. Okay, and right here, I probably add a point. But it works best. You don't want to put uh, the points in at the apex of a curve. It's better to have the curve in between two points. Then by apex, I mean like where it extends the furthest. So I will probably put the point control point right here. Grab my direct selection tool and move it into place. Okay. And again, I'm going to come in and finagle this. Um, it's already pretty close. Um, down here needs a little work, obviously. Okay, swing it out like that. Okay, and this probably here. Oh, there we go. All right, so with this um, already pretty close um, to being in shape, I would just need to come in, fiddle with this a little bit more, add a path on the inside, 
Um, and on the inside, honestly, I'd probably start here in the corners, click, pull, hold down Alt to break that. Essentially, it's like you're breaking the handle, right? Um, do the same thing here. And then probably just put one point in the middle and then reconnect here. Okay. Again, bring my direct selection tool. Get as close as possible here to the inside of the mug. Okay before adding any more points. That's how you can be successful with this. If you, again, if you add too many points, you will never, ever, ever, in a million, billion years, um, get a good selection, okay? So you'll notice, right, just in a minute or two here, how to have a pretty good selection. Um, I may have to add another control point somewhere in here to get a real perfect selection, but I'm really, really close already, right, in just a couple of minutes. So that's the pen tool. Go ahead and practice with it a little bit. See if you can get a good feel for it.